What's going on, Scuffed Gang? Uh, sorry I haven't posted in quite a while. I've had absolutely fucking nothing at all to do on the car. Um, so yeah, I haven't really had any content to be able to make for you guys. But I do have an issue at the moment. Um, I went to change my wheels back over to, well, my rear wheels anyway, back over to my old wheels uh, because the tires on these ones are absolutely shot. And uh, as you can see, they're pretty bold on the outer edges there. But um, I ran into a bit of an issue. My, one of my lug nuts decided it was gonna round off and I tried everything under the sun to fix the damn thing and get it off. I went and I bought a stud. <laughs> so I'm just gonna have to drill the current stud out and bash it out and then uh, put the new one in. Um, Cause I've tried literally everything. I tried bashing a socket onto it and uh, I went out and bought a welder as well. And I tried welding a socket to it and it didn't go very well. And I don't want to talk about it because now it kind of looks really disgusting. So um, yeah, if you're interested, uh, I'm going to show you how to put in a new stud just in case something like this happens to you because that shit sucks. All right, let's get to it. All right. Uh, let's see what we got in here. Well, that's just a, uh, that's the packaging. Apparently it came out of the packaging or wasn't really in there that well, but yeah. Here we have a new wheel stud and a nut to go with it. So I'm gonna just make sure that that threads on there anyway. Nice, that's um, like I bought fucking lug nuts as well because that's not gonna fit like suit the rest of them. They're all silver and this one's like sort of like a goldy, almost like a neochrome type fucking thing. But yeah, oh well, anyway, that doesn't matter because I already went and bought spares, so it's all good. Okay, so. Um, this worked out well anyway because I was at work this morning and I come home for lunch and then I get a text saying that there's not enough work and I won't be needed back this afternoon. So the fact that this came in the mail today as well you know, is um, I guess a sign that I should get off my ass and fix it. <laughs> so to make my life easier because the one that I want to fuck around with is down here on the bottom I'm just gonna rotate the wheel and then maybe put it I reckon at the top would be probably easiest. That way I can actually see what I'm doing. So I'll, uh, I'll do that. <laughs> All right, wheels off the ground. So I'm just gonna quickly chuck the car in neutral and then because it's an open diff, I can just spin the wheel. So that's one advantage of having an open diff. Ah, oh, yeah, right, handbrake's on. <laughs> you stupid. There we go, much easier to work with. Remember, no rushing. Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna leave the, uh, I'm just gonna leave that on the jack because I don't really want to jack it up high enough that I can stick a jack stand in. I mean, if it's gonna fall that far, then it's not really gonna be an issue. I'm not gonna be under the car anyway. All right, so I have replaced a wheel stud on a car before but it was on one of my old Supras, but it's literally the exact same uh, because the Sora and the Supra are the exact same uh, in regards to that anyway. Um, but the only difference was I didn't have to drill it out. I just had to bash it out with a hammer and then bash a new one in. But because there's still a lug nut on there that's uh, like stuck on there, I'm gonna have to drill it out, get everything out of it, and then, um, yeah. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start small. Make sure you've got something to lube it up with as well, your drill bits when you do this because you don't really want to get it overheating and destroying your bits. So, uh, I'm gonna start with a three and a half mil for a pilot hole. And then uh, we'll work our way up from there, I guess. So I was pushing the drill bit further into the drill as I was doing that, but it was working. It did make a hole. Pretty big hole at that. So I'm gonna move up a little bit to go for a four and a half. Jump up a mill. Bring it over here so you can see a bit better. All right, so that's working pretty good. I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna maybe take a second to clear all the fucking debris out of there. God damn, <laughs> that's a lot of metal. All right, um, I'm gonna move up. I'm gonna go straight to, I'm gonna go to a six. 
straight to six mil from four and a half. Now the stud themselves are 12 mil, so this is half. So all I need to do is just make the hole big enough in the middle that it destroys the threads on the outside so there's nothing for the nut to hold onto anymore and then everything just falls out. So that's all I need to do. Ooh, actually started sliding away on the floor. <laughs> all right, seven and a half mil. Wow, that really doesn't want to get in there, does it? Ugh. God damn. It's getting strong, boys. Okay. I don't know if maybe the seven bit out in this set is just blunt or what, but that does not want to go in. I feel like it's because of the weld <laughs> that I tried to do with the socket. Oh, God. Whew. Look at it smoke. Man. I'm trying to like grip onto the back of the wheel with my feet so I can stay in position. <laughs> I'm not gonna be under the car anyway. I'm putting like all my body, yeah, that's just all weld now that I'm trying to drill through. You can see the stud on the inside there. Man. Yeah. All right. I might have to charge my battery for a while and then come back. So I'll be back. Hey boys, welcome back. It's actually day two because um, my drill bit ended up getting stuck in my drill last night in the chuck and it just would not release at all. So. I had to go out and I had to buy another drill. Um, yeah, this one's corded as well anyway, so the battery isn't gonna die on me and that's not gonna stop me from finishing. As long as, you know, my drill bits don't get stuck in this one as well, then we shall be all good and we can finish this damn job. All right, let's get back to it. All right, I'm just gonna loosen up all the wheel nuts first, so that way uh, I can just take the wheel off after I've drilled the stud out and not have to worry about putting the car back down and then undoing the wheels again. All right. Make sure I don't strip any of these off or I'll be very unhappy. <sighs> Jesus Christ, they're on tight. No wonder the other one fucking stripped. Holy shit. Now we can get to unboxing the new drill. Alrighty. Let's see what we got here. So I went with Ryobi again, just cause I don't know, all my tools are pretty much Ryobi with my electrics. So I like the brand. It's just the fact that the chuck got stuck. That was all. Um, Manual. The drill. And there's like a handle and everything as well, so that way I can hold on to that and not fucking slide away on the car like I was last night. Extension cable over. Sorted. All good. Oh yeah. So it is a hammer drill as well as a, obviously a normal screw drill. So that's nice. Give me the handle. <laughs> Actually, I'm just gonna unplug it while I put the handle on, so that way I don't accidentally press the trigger, spin it around for no reason. Slip on there. There we go. That's the drill setup. All right, so I was drilling for the better part of an hour, and yeah, I was getting nowhere with the bits that I had, so I went out and I bought two size uh, cobalt drill bits, because um, apparently they're what you need to get through fucking like cast iron and metal and welds and shit, so yeah, let's hope that they do the job. All right, so fast forward to the future. I couldn't get it done with those two bits. I um, ended up fucking up a little bit with one of them and I drilled way too fast and I blunted the bit. Um, so sick, I actually went out <laughs> and had to buy the whole fucking pack of cobalt bits. Um, and that works so much better. I've already got through the eight and a half and the nine on there, and um, I just chucked the 10 in the drill um, to start recording again, because if this is the final stretch and I get this off now, I want to record it. Because <laughs> I'm gonna be fucking happy. Because I think I started this today at, I don't know, say 12.30 or something? No, nah, would it? Nah, way earlier than that, because I had lunch at like 1.30. Uh, about 11 o'clock today, and it's currently about quarter past eight at night, so. Needless to say, I'm ready for this thing to fucking come off. <laughs> that will happen, and you just twist that. Oh my.
my god, yes! Yes! Look at that! It's fucking air! <laughs> yes! Fuck it, Oos, Oos! Oos! Oos, you fucking dog! Oos! Oh my god! Oh, thank fuck! Thank fuck! Now the wheel can come off, and then I can actually put the new stud in and put some fucking better tires on the car, mate! Ah! Alright, we've got the brake caliper loose. I'm just gonna get something you can sit on. That way it's not just dangling from the brake line. Sit that there. Balance it out of the way. Alright, oh, there we go. Took a bit. <laughs> Alright, so. I've got the fucking stud out. Sorry I didn't film the part of me pulling off the uh, brake rotor and um, just hammering this out. Um, I fuck it, it was stuck on there that fucking hard that I thought I was gonna have to remove the whole fucking hub. So I spent the last couple of hours going around with a mate trying to find a fucking socket at some shops that'll fit that fucking nut. And then when I did find one, it turned out to be a fucking three quarter inch drive, not a half inch drive, so I couldn't use it anyway. And then I was just having a look on fucking YouTube Figured out I could get the fucking brake rotor off and just got a bit of wood and gave it quite a few good fucking smacks of the hammer around the outside to loosen it off. Make sure you fucking loosen your handbrake uh, as well, otherwise the shoes are just gonna push against it and you won't be able to get it off. So, it's out and now I can put the new one in. Fucking finally. <laughs> it's just a matter of fucking getting this in behind there and getting it in. Try and use as many fingers as I can to hold the thing to Bring it up to the hole. There we go. Oh, look at that. Fucking new stud sticking through. We just gotta make sure that we tighten it on now, so. Normally, you're supposed to use a couple spaces as well when you do this, but I don't fucking have any spaces, so I'm just gonna really slowly pull this on with just the nut. I might use my breaker bar instead of the impact. We'll see how it goes. It's as hard as I can get that on there, so I want to loosen this off and check it's pulling it through. Oh, it has pulled it through. You know, like it's pretty much all the way through, but I want to be certain, so I'm going to use the impact a little bit, but I'm going to lube up the thread to make sure I can get this stud on and off. And that's sorted, fucking done. New wheel stud installed. Got a wheel nut to go on there. Everything's good. Fucking brake pad. All right, I finally fucking finished, guys. Sorry I didn't film the last part. I got the old wheels back on with the um, half decent tires, uh, seeing as it is wet weather now and everything. I was just way too pissed off in the end to fucking record the rest. I needed to get the job done because I work tomorrow and I need it done by tomorrow. Right, thanks for watching. Also, I just wanna say thanks for getting the channel to 130 subs already. I know I haven't really been uploading, but you guys are still watching and still subbing. So I really appreciate that. And um, I was actually considering making um, a small batch of stickers, Scuff Garage stickers um, to sell um, to you guys in case anyone was interested in that. Um, I will post up the design of what it looks like, I guess, here. It'll probably just be the Scuff Garage logo as you guys see it um, in the beginning of the videos. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something, if anything. I know I fucking did. I didn't want to. <laughs> Alright, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.